Translation of axes. Translation of axes means to shift the origin to a new position and the axes are taken parallel to the original lines. Let PXY be any point in the original axis. That is, PM perpendicular to OX implies OM equal to X and PM equal to Y. Let the origin be shifted to the point O dash with coordinates HK. Also, O dash X dash and O dash Y dash are drawn parallel to X and O Y respectively. Thus, O dash X dash and O dash Y dash become the new axes. Let the coordinates of P be X dash Y dash referred to new axes. Then we are the following. If O dash L perpendicular to OX, then OL equal to H, O dash L equal to K. Also, if OX dash cuts PM at M dash, then O dash M dash equal to X dash and P M dash equal to Y dash. Clearly, X equal to OM equal to OL plus LM equal to H plus O dash M dash equal to H plus X dash and Y equal to PM which is equal to M dash M plus PM dash. That is equal to O dash L plus Y dash. That is K plus Y dash. Therefore, X equal to H plus X dash, Y equal to K plus K dash. Hence, shifting the origin without rotation of axes, we have the new equation in X dash Y dash by substituting X equal to X dash plus H and Y equal to Y dash plus K. In matrix notation, we can represent it as a column matrix relation. That is, matrix XY in columns is equal to matrix X dash Y dash in column plus HK, again a column matrix. Next we take up rotation of axes. Well, rotation of axes about origin. Here we do not change the origin, but rotate the coordinate axes. Let the coordinates of P be XY referred to original axis OX and OY. Draw PL perpendicular to OX, OL equal to X, PL equal to Y. If the axes are rotated, an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction and let their new position be OX dash and OY dash so that angle X dash OX is equal to theta is equal to Y dash OY. Let X dash Y dash be the coordinates of P referred to the new axes OX dash and OY dash. If PM is perpendicular to OX dash, 
then OM is equal to X dash and PM is equal to Y dash. Draw MR perpendicular to OX and MQ perpendicular to PM. Also angle L 